well 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 it's my favorite time of year baby and that is grammy season um i me andrea treat the grammys like my super bowl <laughs> I celebrate it every year. I have a huge party at my house. I have so many Grammy videos on my YouTube channel. I will link down below my reaction to the Grammy nominations from this year. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing my Grammy predictions. I'm gonna give an idea of who I actually think is going to win, but then also share who I want to win. I feel like they're very different things. Like sometimes who I want isn't who I actually think is gonna go home with the award. For reference, if you're watching this video, I'm not gonna be going over every category. Do you know how many categories there are? So many. I am a pop girl. I love Taylor Swift. I love Olivia Rodrigo. This is some things we're gonna be talking about. I'm a Miley Stan, you know. Best pop vocal album. This is for albums containing greater than 70% playing time of new pop vocal recordings. We got Chemistry by Kelly Clarkson, Endless Summer Vacation by Miley Cyrus, Guts Olivia Rodrigo, Subtract Ed Sheeran, and Midnights by Taylor Swift. My pick is going to be Midnight's Taylor Swift. I think it's such a good pop album. I'm actually pretty well versed in all five albums. I've listened to every single one all the way through. Also, Chemistry by Kelly Clarkson is such a good album if you haven't listened to it yet. My favorite song on it is Rock Hudson. I think, mwah, pop perfection. Yeah, so all these artists are kind of doing the most, um, but I'm a Taylor stan and I have to go with Taylor. I think if it didn't go to Taylor, it might go to Olivia. But also here's the real tea. This is the real tea. You're getting it here. If you didn't already do your research. Miley Cyrus has never won a Grammy, so I'm kind of rooting for a Miley too. But my final choice, I'm gonna say, is Midnight's by Taylor Swift for best pop vocal album. We're moving up and out here. Oh, my Swifty is just like screaming for these categories. Best pop duo slash group performance. This is for new vocal or instrumental duo groups or collaborative pop recordings singles or tracks only thousand miles miley cyrus featuring brandy carlisle candy necklace lana del rey featuring john batiste i don't know that one um but i know the grammys love john batiste never felt so alone by labyrinth featuring billy eilish do i know this song oh wait was this in euphoria Karma by Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice. Ghost in the Machine, SZA featuring Phoebe Bridgers. I don't know that one either. I listened to this whole album, so I've definitely heard it before. Oh, I, okay, okay. I know Ghost in the Machine. Okay. Personal pick is gonna be Karma. Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice because I think that would be so iconic if Ice Spice won her first Grammy with Taylor Swift. I think that would be so iconic. I do feel like the Grammys are gonna go somewhere else in a different direction with this one because they really like Billie Eilish and they really like John Batiste. I also could see SZA just coming home with like at least five Grammys. <laughs> Who I really think is gonna win best pop duo slash group performance. No groups, it's all duos this year. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with my karma. My, my my ice spice karma next up we have best pop solo performance this is for new vocal or instrumental pop recordings singles or tracks only flowers miley cyrus paint the town red doja cat what was i made for from the motion picture barbie billy eilish vampire olivia rodrigo anti-hero taylor swift my personal pick for this is miley cyrus flowers what i think is actually going to win best pop solo performance. It's definitely not anti-hero and it's definitely not vampire, but I would say what was I made for or paint the town red. I just feel like paint the town red was so massive. Like it has to win something. What was I made for will win something. I have full confidence. I don't know if best pop solo performance. I'm gonna go with Doja Cat. I think it's actually going to win. Also flowers was huge. So my wants and what I actually think might happen might align in this one. Flowers broke just so many records. Okay, I want Flowers to win. I think Paint the Town Red is gonna actually win. Next up, I don't have a ton of knowledge in this category, but I have to share who I'm rooting for, for obvious reasons. Producer of the Year, non-classical. This is a producer's award. Uh, let me, let me, let me just tell you who I'm rooting for. Jack Antonoff. This would be his third time winning this award if he gets it, which would be 
wild. He's nominated for three albums, the 1975 album, Lana Del Rey, and Taylor Swift's Mid Midnights. I don't really know other people in this category other than Daniel Nigro, who produces for Chapel Roan, Olivia Rodrigo. I think Jack Antonoff's gonna win it and I want him to win it. Best new artist? I, I'm gonna get a little controversial here. Best New Artist is the category that recognizes an artist whose eligibility year releases achieved a breakthrough into the public consciousness and notably impacted the musical landscape. Gracie Abrams, Fred Again, Ice Spice, Jelly Roll, Coco Jones, Noah Kahn, Victoria Monet, The Warren Treaty. I want Jelly Roll to win. I think his story is just so unique. I think his voice is incredible and I think it would be really cool to see Jelly Roll win Best New Artist. However, who I actually think think is going to win Best New Artist is Noah Khan. Like, he has to get this award. He's just, like, taken over this year. I think he is probably the most deserving. I am just, like, not on the Noah Khan train, but y you gotta give him props at some point, you know? We're getting into the, the bigger categories here. We got Song of the Year, not to be confused with Record of the Year. Song of the Year is a songwriter's award. A song is eligible if it was first released or if it's first achieved prominence during the eligibility year. Singles or tracks only. a and Lana Del Rey, Antihero with Jack Antonoff and Taylor Swift, Butterfly by John Batiste, Dan Wilson, Dance the Night Away from the Barbie soundtrack, uh, Dua Lipa, our girl and her fellow songwriters, Flowers, Miley Cyrus, Kill Bill, now that was a big one, that was big, Vampire, What Was I Made For, Song of the Year, oh I'm stressed! Well, when I think about a song and I think about songwriting and the song of these that captivated audiences the most through its words is what was I made for. And I also think that's the one I want to win because I think that song just meant so much to so many people. I'm here for it. I also could see Flowers winning, but I'll get to that in a minute. Next up, my favorite category. <laughs> We got album of the year. Big one for me. Not the biggest. Record is technically the biggest in Grammy terms, but album is like the one I am on the edge of my seat for all the time. So award to artists or artists to featured arter, artists, songwriters, new material producers, recording engineers, mixers, and master engineers credited with 20% or more playing time of the album. World Music Radio, John Batiste, The Record Boy Genius, Endless Summer Vacation by Miley Cyrus, Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, Lana Del Rey, Age of Pleasure, Janelle Monae, Guts, Olivia Rodrigo, and Midnight's Taylor Swift, oh, and SOS by SZA. Y'all, this category is on fire! It is so good, how are they gonna choose one? In my pop culture predictions video, Andrew said that Boy Genius could win this. Like, you'd have to go like watch him explain it. I would love for that to happen. I think that would be so iconic. I don't know, I, I haven't listened to John Batiste's album, but I know the Grammys love John Batiste. How many times are you gonna say it in this video? Endless Summer Vacation, I don't think, personally as a body of work, it like stacks up next to these albums as an album. But I do think she'll win another Grammy. I haven't listened to Lana Del Rey's album, don't come for me. Age of Pleasure, I haven't listened to that. Guts I've listened to about 4,000 times maybe. Midnight's Taylor Swift, SOS SZA. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what you have to understand. Taylor Swift has won album of the year three times at the Grammys. If she were to win it a fourth time, she will break the record. So I am gonna say with my full chest, I want Taylor Swift to win album of the year. And I also think she is going to win album of the year. <laughs> Do I really think that though? I, I really think the Grammys are just gonna go like off the rails with this one. I think they're gonna choose something like Boy Genius. People really liked that SZA album too. Or like, what if Janelle Monae won it? Like, that'd be so cool. But I really want Taylor to break this record. So I don't know, that's my thoughts on album of the year. All right, lastly, record of the year. Awarded to an artist and to the producers, recording engineers and or mixers, 
and mastering engineers if other than the artist okay so record is more about like the production of the song not so much like the songwriting we got worship john batiste not strong enough boy genius flowers miley cyrus what was i made for by billy eilish and her squad on my mama victoria monet i haven't listened to that one vampire olivia rodrigo anti-hero taylor swift and kill bill sizzo this is what i am going to predict is going to happen miley cyrus doesn't go home with anything at the end of the night we're like all at the edge of our seats we're waiting to hear the last one record of the year and boom that's what she wins she wins one grammy of her whole career and it's the biggest one of the night I think Miley Cyrus is gonna win record of the year but per usual I could see it going to someone super random well who's really random in this category boy genius Kill Bill was also pretty big oh no I think my I think Miley has to get it I think she has to I think that's what's right that's what would make the world a better place please tell me what do you think especially about the major categories like I want to argue I want to get different opinions maybe change some of my own opinions so comment below DM me on social media I don't care I want to talk about this because it is less than two weeks away at this point and I am so excited I am just ready to chat I'm ready to watch I'm ready to get popcorn and like a million other snacks and just sit around and watch this award show I cannot wait I'm so excited I really really just want Taylor to get album that's like what i'm manifesting also she has won 12 grammys if she wins one more she will have 13 grammys which if you're if you know you know i'm just such a pop culture girly to the end like i really love keeping up with all this stuff especially music and a night to celebrate music that i've listened to for so long i'm really excited mark your calendar set the alarm don't forget to watch the grammys on sunday february 4th it's gonna be on cbs television or you can stream it on paramount plus it starts at 8 p.m and goes until 11 30 which is pretty late um i hate that but whatever happy grammy season i can't wait to see which ones i got right and which ones i got wrong from this video but we'll find out thanks so much for watching and i'll see you really soon Bye.